Hello, I'm Tally and this is a super quick DIY tea jar video. So I am obsessed with loose leaf tea, I absolutely love it and what better way to store it in some little DIY jars. So the jars that I use um, are kind of all different sizes. My favourite ones are this brand of peanut butter that I get and I eat a lot of peanut butter so I've got quite a few of these ones that any jars would do. The only ones I'd avoid is like pasta sauce or things that have a lot of onions in them because it's quite hard to wash the oniony smell out and you don't want that smell to get all in your tea. So things like peanut butter, jam, stuff like that is, is fine. So I've got this blackboard paint which I got from Wilco and I'm just painting the lids of the jars, obviously once I've cleaned out all the peanut butter and made sure they're all clean and dry. It is quite difficult to do this without getting paint everywhere, so I'm being like super careful. So just make sure you've got enough jars for the amount of tea that you have. As you can see, I have quite a lot of tea. So then I'm using this chalk marker, which is also from Wilco, and I've actually sharpened the end of it so that I can make my handwriting a bit smaller. And then I'm writing the name of the tea on the jar lid. Easy peasy. And this chalk marker is pretty good actually because it doesn't, it's not like regular chalk, it won't just rub off when you open the jar, you have to get damp cloth to wipe it off. So it is possible to reuse the jars and put a new label on them when, when you finish that tea and you get a new one, you just wipe it with a damp cloth, but it won't come off all in your hands when you're just opening the jar. So that is a very easy DIY. I'll tell you a little bit about the teas that I have in here and some of my favourites. I mean, I like all of them, obviously, otherwise I wouldn't have them. I love chai tea, especially in winter. I think it's super warming and amazing. So I have a vanilla chai, which is great for when you want something a bit sweet. And I have a chilli chai, which is amazing for when you have a cold and you just want to like clear out all your sinuses. I also love Earl Grey. So I've got a regular Earl Grey and an elderflower Earl Grey, which is gorgeous, like with a bit of lemon. I normally have Earl Grey with um, non-dairy milk and like a sweetener, but the elderflower Earl Grey especially is amazing with lemon or even with a little bit of gin in it is if you're feeling <laughs> a bit fancy. English breakfast, of course, I don't drink English breakfast a lot, but when I have guests around, that is usually the tea they want, so I make sure I always have some in. Gorgeous Geisha is a green tea from the company T2, which is absolutely incredible. Like, it's quite a fruity, sweet green tea. I think green teas can be kind of a bit drying in your mouth sometimes, but I really like this one. Turmeric and chamomile, I got this from like a food fair and I'm, to be honest, I don't like it that much, but apparently it's got loads of health benefits. So I'm just kind of keeping it around in case I ever fancy something really healthy. Mango black tea is just, mango black tea. It's just, it is what it says on the tin really, on the jar, should I say. It is really, really sweet. And again, I'd have this without milk and it's just so fruity and, juicy almost. Caramel rooibos, again, apparently rooibos has more health benefits than a green tea. So if you're like detoxing or anything, you should go for a rooibos rather than a green tea when everyone's like, yeah, green tea is the healthiest one. And it's caramel flavor, so cures those sweet cravings at the same time. And then I've got a rose black tea and pure rose petals, which are amazing for when you're on your period and you're just trying to get rid of those cramps. So good for like, I don't know, just clearing you out. Um, if you ever get cramps on your period, I'd recommend trying these. And it also tastes amazing as well. I love like floral tasting teas and everything. Again, that one's nice with a gin as well. <laughs> so that is my loose leaf tea collection in a nutshell. I do have a lot of other teas in, in tea bags, so maybe I'll do another video at some point with the rest of my tea collection. That is the end of the video. Please let me know if you recreate this DIY or if you maybe put other things in the jars but still do the same kind of DIY. Tag me in your pictures on Instagram. Other than being super practical, these jars are just so aesthetically pleasing, so would definitely like to see your pictures. Thank you so much for watching please subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and if you did enjoy watching this video please give it a thumbs up and i will see you in next week's video which is going to be my morning routine so i'll see you then